Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about introduction to SQL. So we are going to start our SQL part from this particular video. Okay. So what is SQL first? So SQL is basically a structured query language which is used to interact with the database, right? So SQL is used to interact with database management system that is dbms in the very first lecture of a dbms we have discussed about difference between data database and database management system okay so how this sql works suppose we have a database right we have a database here right in order to interact with this particular database we use database management system that is dbms right and in order to interact with this particular DBMS, we use SQL, that is structured query language, right? This database, right? So if you want to update any data, if you want to view any data, we use DBMS for that. And to interact with the database, we use SQL for that, right? So by using SQL, we modify any we modify table, we update the data in a table, or we can use the data from a particular table in a database, right? So this is what SQL is right so what is database database is basically a collection of tables right you can say collection of tables right so as we have discussed in the first uh, lecture of this particular course that database is a just a collection of tables we store a data in a tabular format right like this so we have a table we have a column okay and we have a row here right so we store the data in a particular tabular format just like your csv file but there is relation between the various tables, right? So there is relation between the various tables. For example, this is roll number and this is also roll number. Then there is a relation between this particular roll number and this particular uh, roll number, right? So we'll discuss uh, what it is. But as of now, just understand that SQL is a structured query language which is used to interact with the database management system, right? To interact with the database, right? So database is just a collection of tables consists of multiple tables which are linked to each other by a common attribute or we can say a common column as of now just understood this okay. So what we are going to cover for this particular gate exam right. So our focus is on gate DA exam right. So focus is on gate DA exam. So what we are going to cover in SQL. So in SQL we are going to discuss about what is DDL it is data definition language command. We are going to discuss about what is DML command, that is data manipulation language. We are going to discuss about DCL command, that is data control language. Okay. okay. So we are going to see what is DDL, DML and DCL is. So in short, I can say we are going to see how to create a table, right? So how to create a database first, how to create a database. We are going to see then how to create a tables. Okay. Then what are the columns, right? columns is basically attributes here then we have rows right that is rows table consists of columns and rows right so how to create a table right so how to insert a row in a particular table how to update a row in a particular table so we are going to discuss insert statement update statement right also alter column right alter statement we are going to discuss also how to delete a particular record so delete statement we are going to discuss how to drop a particular record or table we can discuss that so difference between delete drop and truncate okay so difference between delete drop and truncate we are going to discuss so all the insert statement update command alter command delete drop truncate then we can we are going to discuss about all the select query like select queries right in which we consist of like from from clause what is where clause right from where then what is group by clause group by clause what is having clause what is having we are going to discuss what are the aggregate functions right what are the aggregate functions also we are going to discuss so total there are five aggregate functions that is sum average minimum maximum right and count so all those things we are going to discuss and also we are going to discuss order by clause okay order by clause 
and limit clause okay and limit clause so all this thing we are going to discuss in this particular introduction to sql also a view basic of view okay basic of view what is view just the syntax part we are going to discuss not in detail because it is not required for the like, da part but insert update alter delete drop truncate and select this all statement we are going to discuss so in short you should know how to create a table right you should know how to create a table how to insert a record in a particular table right how to insert a record in a particular table how to update the table right you should know how to update the table also you should know how to delete or drop a particular table or record right delete and drop right so how to create table insert a record update a table delete and drop a table how to view data view data from a particular table or select data from a particular table right so all these things we are going to discuss in introduction to sql okay so this is so as of now we are going to discuss at this topic because i think this will be enough okay okay so first we'll cover this much topic and then at, at the end we can also cover about various sub query part okay sub query part okay also we can discuss about various set operations so we'll discuss about various set operations right so set operations will be useful in relation algebra also and also we'll discuss about various types of joins in sql so types of joins in sql okay so this is very important topic anyway we have to discuss in detail so various types of joins we are going to discuss in detail okay so as of now the plan is to discuss this much uh, topic in detail okay after that once we have uh, complete this if we have time we can discuss a more advanced topic here but first we try to cover this much okay so we'll get a basic of sql like how to create table how to insert record how to update a record how to view the data from a particular table how if you want to view a data by applying some condition so all those things we are going to discuss okay so this is our plan as of now okay now what is database i said like we have a database which is a collection of a tables right in which the multiple tables are there and which are linked to each other by a particular foreign key we can say it is a common attribute okay so we'll discuss about various types of keys in detail so don't worry about it but first let me uh, discuss these two table so we have a student table we have enrollment table right so student table has this column roll number name age course these all are the column and we also say it as attributes so these are the attributes of a student table so name roll number age course these all are the attributes of a student table right and these are the rows of a particular student table right same for enrollment also so department admission year roll number are the attributes of enrollment table and these are the rows of a particular enrollment table now there is very important topic that is data types and integrity constraint right and integrity constraint so in the syllabus they have specifically mentioned this data types and integrity constraint so we have to discuss in detail like anyway we are like anyway we are going to discuss this in detail by use, by using sql so all this thing what we are going to discuss theoretically theoretically we'll discuss first plus we'll discuss the application part that is practical part also right using postgresql as our database as using postgresql as our database that is as our dbms okay so we have a different dbms system here so you must have heard about mysql right so we have oracle we have oracle then we have postgres very famous postgres right so these all are very uh, famous relational database management system so there are different types of dbms but we are only going to focus on relational database management system relational database management system and these all are the relational database management system okay why relational database management system because there are because there is some relation between one table and other table right so all the tables in a particular uh, database there is some connection between each other right so we are going to discuss this now for this particular example we have this roll number and row is this roll number uh, same right so if we want to uh, connect these two tables there must be some common attribute right so here is a roll number and roll number is a common attribute so then we can say we can connect this particular table right also we can say this is basically a foreign key 
is basically a foreign key referencing to this our primary key so this will be my primary key so what is primary key and foreign key we are going to discuss in the next couple of videos but as of now just understood that this is primary key and we are taking the reference from this particular uh, column to this particular column right so reference means if we have one two three four five six like d 6 entry in student table we can only enter the entries which is for the roll number which is present in this particular table okay i cannot enter a record of da07 in this particular enrollment table because we don't have a corresponding record because it is taking reference from this particular roll number okay so we are going to discuss in detail when we are going to discuss about foreign key part but as of now just understand the concept okay now we'll discuss about various data types and integrity constraints right but before that this is a database schema okay database schema so you can see a structure of a database right so we have a multiple tables here right so this is basically a university database so i have taken this from a court reference book like dbms by silver Strass and court so you can refer that book for this sql part because i am going to uh, discuss this particular database right this is a university database right so we have different table here student course department student having id name department total credit so this underline indicates underline indicates primary key okay primary key so if you remember our er diagram part in that we have discussed about ellipse and underline right so this is basically a primary key so ellipse and underline used to indicate the primary key in a particular table right so we'll try to link each and every concept whatever we have discussed till now but as of now just understood this is a database schema like we have this particular uh, tables in our database and this is how they are linked to each other right so there must be some common ids or common attributes to link with each other right so we'll discuss this part now we'll discuss about data types okay so data types in sql right so what is data type in sql suppose i have this particular table that is student right so your role number name age course are the attributes right now what i am saying now what are the data types like data type will ensure what type of data i can insert in this particular column what type of data i can insert in this particular column what type of data i can insert in this particular column for example in the age column i can only input integer values in the case of name and roll number i can only integer characters right this is characters and these are the integers right suppose we have one more column here for example a date of birth so in this particular column i can only insert a date right so these all other data types the data type will ensure that whatever so what type of data i can insert in a particular column okay so data types applicable on column so for example if we, if i say data type date for this particular dob it means i can insert only date in this particular table if i try to insert any integer or string it will throw an error right it will not allow us to insert any particular record right like same what is age that is integer right so each data type is integer so so this particular data type will ensure that i can i can only insert an integer value in this particular row that is age i cannot insert raj in this particular column because age cannot be a character right so age having the data type int will ensure that i can input only integer value in a in a particular column okay so total there are different so there are different types of uh, data types so first one is char what is character and then we have where char so we'll see what is difference between char and where char so this n is basically a size of a size okay so we'll discuss what is this size is then we have integer right so integer like age is where care and care this variable character and this character like roll number name course so we can use both the data types here now we have date data type we have date data type then we have numeric numeric data type that is a comma b for example if i want to add one more column here which is having cgpa right so cgpa will be like this 8.9 7.8 in in points right 
So if we have some type of data which is having decimal values, so we can use numeric data type for that. Okay. So care, where care, integer, date, numeric. We also have a Boolean data type. Boolean means simple, it is true or false. So I can only insert either true or false value in a particular. So these are a few important data types. Okay, these are a few important data types. We are going to discuss in detail in the next video. But also there are a few other data types. So we are just going to uh, just an overview of it. But these are the important data types. So that we are going to focus on. Okay. Then we have something called integrity constraint, right? So in our syllabus, we have integrity constraint. That is integrity constraints. So these two topic are specifically mentioned in syllabus, data types and integrity constraint. So what is integrity constraint in this case? So for example, this age, okay. So data type will ensure what type of data I can insert in the particular record. For example, I can only, only insert integer values. But what integrity constraint will ensure? So what is constraint? Constraint is basically the rules, right? Rules applicable on a particular column or table. Rules on table or we can say column, okay? So that is integrity constraint. So check, so age integer is a basically data type. Now if I put, for example, check. So check is one, one type of constraint in SQL. So if I put check age greater than 18, so if I put this constraint on this particular column, so what will happen? I can only insert a record of a student whose age is greater than 18. So check constraint will ensure, right, that age of a particular student must be greater than 18. If we try to put, it will throw an error. Okay, so we'll discuss this with the help of example. So there are different types of integrity constraints. So first one is primary key. It is primary key. Then we have foreign key. Then we have foreign key, then we have a null constraint, then we have null and not null, it is not null, okay. Then we have unique constraint, unique constraint, and then uh, we have this check constraint, okay. And we also have default one, okay we have also default constraint so this type of constraint we are going to discuss in detail in the next video okay so what is primary key constraint so this is primary key rule number so primary key will ensure that our data has unique plus not null constraint okay foreign key will discuss in detail not null will ensure that i cannot insert a null record in a particular row if i uh, set a constraint of not null on this particular course so it will ensure that I cannot insert a null value in a particular uh, this, uh, column, right? So what about unique? So unique constraint will ensure that all the all the row in a particular column must be unique. For example, this name, right? If I apply unique constraint on name, so all the name of a student must be unique. It means I cannot enter Rajesh, Rajesh two times, right? So it will ensure that all the name must be unique. So check constant we have discussed that check must be uh, like we can check whether the age is greater than 18 or not. So there, there are different types of uh, obligation we can uh, have, right? What is default value? Suppose we don't have any, suppose for a particular uh, date of, for a particular student, we don't have any date of birth, right? We don't have a data for that. So we can insert one default date of birth for them. Or for example, we don't have any CGP of a particular student. So if I apply default, okay, say so default, equals to 8. So we don't have any CGP of a particular student but by default it will take this CGPA as 8. Okay. So we are going to discuss this in detail in the upcoming uh, lectures that is next lecture. So that's it from this particular lecture. So in the next video we are going to discuss about data types and integrity constraint. Okay. Thank you.